Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sinking City. Dr. Minx is back here on the case and we need to find the seal that was taken from us. So we should probably have a look around and speak to some hospital employees to find out where our ship went after we woke up from the cave of Dagon. So let's go and have a look. I believe I was rescued by a stranger. Do you know who it was? Ah, oh, let's see. You're Reed. Yeah, I've done right? a bunch of quests for you, dickface. Huh. Well, that's funny. It was a regular of ours. A regular? Yeah, his name is Billy Drunnan. Well, let's just say he enjoys a drink a bit too much. Seen a lot of him these past few months. Barrel fever, huh? Uh, I tell you, his file is just about bursting at the seams. The things he comes out with in therapy. Uh, can I have my things back, please? Oh, of course. There you go. Is this all you have? I'm uh, missing a large, round object. Hot plug? I, I don't recall it. Sorry. At least you're leaving here with your life. <laughs> That's something. Hi. Bye. I don't think he took it, for the record. But... All right, let's look at our casebook here. We've got to deal with the devil. We've got a new side quest, by the way. Silence is golden, which I'd like to actually do in this video. I woke up at the hospital to discover my... It's the last side quest I haven't done in the game, so that's why it's important to do it. I woke up at the hospital to discover my old acquaintance. We've already got this. Um, Billy Drunnan. Okay. He might be on the patient records, actually. Johan van der Berg. Should visit after I get the seal back. Western Advent, Vinland Avenue. That's after I get the seal back. All right, while we're here... I'm going to quickly do some research on the guy. Then we're going to head out and do Silence is Golden because it's going to tell us about the lady in the library with her lips sewed shut, which I'm actually really interested in. Patience, uh, period, after the flood. Department, uh, therapy. Uh, this one. There we go. Unemployed Seven Oaks bar regular. Taken to hospital on multiple occasions due to near fatal intoxication. Well, I think we can probably find out where he is based on that. There's probably only one bar in Seven Oaks, and I think I know where it is. But, for now, we're going to change to the side case in my case book. Silence is golden. Meet me at the Oakmont Library, she says. I'm going to go there now, because I want to find out if I'm a good lip reader. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know why I'm fucking around with my pistol, so it's kind of useless at this point. The rifle is where it's at, but yo. Anyway. Oakmont Library is right here. Let's see what this lovely lady with her lips sewn shut wants. And then this will be the last side quest in the game. It will be purely main story from then on. Which is super not. Let's go. Hi. I got your letter. So you wanted to see me, Joy? Don't tell or we die. Promise. Sorry, I didn't quite... Can you, can you, can you speak up? Okay, okay. You have my <laughs> word. Don't worry. Her in my apartment again. Don't know what to do. I'm scared. Help. What do you mean? Did someone break in? Were they threatening you? Yes. Her. Who the fuck is her? Again. What did she want? Keep my mouth shut. I mean, she's already achieved that. Who is she? You said it was a woman, right? Yes. Do you know her? Yes. Then who is she? What does she look like? Won't tell. Can't. Oh, come on. Just How about your give address? Me something. Anything I can work with. No. No words. Please. All right, I'll help you. Don't worry. I'll help if I can. So, where do you live? Here's address. Tick keys. Thank you. I got this, Joy. Everything will be all right. I've got a feeling this isn't going to be all right. And... Keep silent. Bye, Joy. What the fuck? Keep silent. This is creepy as fuck, isn't it? All right. Um. Hmm. Uh, I need the map here. So we've got uh, Western Shells, east from the corner of Liberty Road and Hawking Lane. So Western Shells is over here. Hawking Lane. What the fuck is Liberty Road? There it is. So it's like here? Flat one. I think we've already been in that building, actually. Uh. Can we. What? That'll do. We'll find it easily enough there. It's because I had the other marker there. 
I didn't know how to place the marks properly when I first started playing, you see, so I was kind of like confused, but now I understand, you know. I've gotten to grips with the game a lot more as I played it. It's not too far from a fast travel point, so let's have a look and see what the fuck is going on here. I'm really intrigued to see what happens with like the main story as well. Like, I, I really like this. I've, I've had such a great time playing it. I am strongly considering a playthrough of Dead Space 2, seeing as I never beat it for the next playthrough, but I'm open to feedback from you guys because the people who watch these long playthroughs, your opinion is super valid here. So. Oh, this is going to be so fucking bad. Something is going to be really wrong here, and I don't know what it is, and I'm really... <sighs> the door won't budge. He said, keep quiet. <laughs> it wasn't very quiet there. Obviously, you hear it squelching around. That's a horrible sound, isn't it? Like, they, I think they did a good job with the, the the vile beasts or whatever they're called in this. Like, they genuinely are pretty fucking disturbing. Looks like there's not much else down here though, except pumpkins. a lot of noise. Is that going to kill us making a lot of noise? I have no idea. Oh, no. Well, <sighs> that is a dog real issues. that has been very fucked up. A message written in blood. Oakmont keeps his mouth shut, little girl. This is my second visit and the final warning. If you can't be silent even when your mouth is sewn shut, I'll make a pair of shoes from your skin like I made a toy from your doggy. Stop talking too much. Silence is golden. That is a bear. <laughs> made out of fur. Are you fucking kidding me? It's a bear made out of the dog's innards. Okay. Okay. Pretty sure that's not a good sign. Yeah, I'd go with that. Uh, someone's a real pro with a needle. Yeah, pro. Huh. Joy won this in a singing contest? Yeah, I think she'd have a bit of difficulty doing that now. A cozy place for a favorite pet, huh? Shame the dog is dead! Right next to you! Dear Miss Joy, we know how much music meant to you, but losing your voice is not the end of the world. It's painful to see that you cannot sing anymore, but maybe all this is for a greater good. No one knows what would happen if you didn't stop gossiping. There is good news, though. We found a nice job for you in the library. You can start when you're ready. Love, Mum and Dad. Oh. And a camera. Damn it. This thing is melted. Ah, there's no way we'll get any pictures out of this. I need a camera phone. That's what you need. Oh, someone has real issues. Right. <laughs> the door won't budge. Oh, that's apartment number two. Okay. Looks like there might be something in there though, right? Oh well. Without a key, I'm pretty fucked anyway, so let's uh... Let's have a look around further. Yeah, she was lit. She was singing. Cancelled. But she was good enough to put on a show. Yes, life took a real turn for you, huh, Joy? So she was, like, super famous. Well, not famous, but popular, you know what I mean? Successful. And then, for some reason, she had to stop singing. 
related to gossip. Oh. I don't see anything else in here though. You know what I mean? Like. Oh, I just realized something. The bear was sewn on that. I'm a, oh God, that's, that's really fucked up though. That is really fucked up. Okay. I don't see anything though, El nothing else, you know what I mean? Nothing that immediately grabs my eye. I, don't, I think it's like a shared space here, so like, I don't think this is relevant. You know what I mean? It's still wet. I missed that clue. It was right there the whole time, I just didn't look at it when I was looking at the fucking bear. Alright, let's piece together what happened here. Come on, come to Granny, puppy dear. Excuse me? Oh. A stitch comes out, a stitch goes in, a nip of flesh, a tuck of skin. Oh, you'll be such a lovely dolly. This is fucked up. This is making me really hey, uncomfortable. It's her. It's Holy really shit. her. Proof. Hope she doesn't hear me take the photo. So, how did it play out? Okay, so someone took a photo through that door. Interesting. So, one. Come two. on! Come to Click, click. No. A visitor. Who's there? Is that what she says here? Hang on. Click, click. A visitor. Who's one, there? Two. Come on. Then the click click. Okay, it's her. It's really her. Yeah. Click click. That makes sense. I wish you wouldn't play these out. Just fucking do it. Who's there? there Someone go. visited Joy's place, killed her dog, and sewed it into this thing. A warning for her, I guess. And the neighbor just got in the way. Get anything else out here? But we have no other way to, no other place to go, but the neighbor, we should probably speak to them if we can, right? Locked. Maybe there's a key around here. Ah, well there is by the looks of things, because the birds are gonna lead me to it. Hello, come on little birdies, guide me. God, this is fucked up though, this is really fucked up. I like how dark this game is, like, yeah. I like my horror kind of, like, bit a bit of oomph, you know, a bit of meat. Got an iron key. Probably, before I continue, I'm going to make uh, some emergency uh, things here, quickly. Because we're going to need them, in case of sudden insanity, you know. Quite a few bullets for this as well. This thing kills things really fast, so it's very useful to have. Alright, what else? Someone's a big fan of fairy tales. The kind without a happily ever after. So fairy tales then, because none of them are actually really that good. They're all fucking horrible. I can scarcely believe I live right next door to Joey Hayden herself. You know how much I do love her songs, Kay? Just this morning I saw her, and it's true, her mouth really is sewn shut. The rumours about the end of her career were not just rumours. Granny Weaver truly silenced her. At last I have a chance to see Granny Weaver with my own eyes. Or maybe even take a photo, hee <laughs> hee. She doesn't appear to check up on Joy or follow another clue and find out where the witch lives. My hunch is the Arthur Cox discovered the whereabouts of Granny Weaver's lair and his inquiries into Oakmount's peculiar history. He must have written about it somewhere. Probably a book at the library, so that's a clue. No sign of any wounds, but he looks like he's seen the devil himself. It's like a sucked a dick as well. Alright, so Granny Weaver is our, uh, our enemy here. Let's go and take a book out, I guess, and see if we can find out who Granny Weaver is. Well, I mean, Granny Weaver clearly is fucked up. She fucking sewed a dog into a sewing machine as a fucking warning. Sewed Joy's lips shut. I don't know why she's after Joy, though. I guess we're going to establish that. She's probably going to end up shooting Granny Weaver in the face with this gun as well, is my, is my guess. But let's see. 
I need to double check the note, uh, find out what the author's name was, but, you know. I'm pretty sure this is where we check anyway. Maybe the city hall, but I think this is probably more likely. Don't worry, Joy, we'll figure it out. Alright, so section. Uh, hmm, I don't know. Arthur Cook Cox? Yeah. Author. Okay. We need section. History? Period. Modern. No. Uh, I'll try changing the period. No. Okay, so we don't that we don't really know that's not right. Section restricted. Religion? I don't fucking know. Maybe I should do... Maybe I should do region instead? Local? Hmm... There we go. The legend of Granny Weaver grew from the story of Anne Osborne, one of the Salem witches who escaped to Oakmont, later becoming a weaver by trade. Her granddaughter is asked to be told about witchcraft. Anne agreed, but swore them to secrecy. Soon thereafter, two girls were found in the Oakmont sewers, dead with their mouths delicately sewn shut. Anne Osborne was never seen again. Many in Oakmont believe her spirit stalks those who expose the town's secrets. Legends hold Granny Weaver can be banished for up to 100 years, but she always comes back. Supposedly, Granny Weaver lived on Beacon Street between Windhalf Avenue and Century Avenue in Western Old Grove. Alright, we got an address for our witch. Uh, here's Western Old Grove. Western Old Grove on Beacon Street between Windhalf and Century Avenue? Oh, okay, so like uh, here. Perfect. Alright. Let's head over there, I guess. Joy, don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. We gotta fight a, 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 a... This is gonna suck. Like, I mean, we did kill a god, though, so maybe a granny isn't gonna be that much of a deal. Maybe she's just trying to knit me a sweater or something. That's what she's probably gonna do, right? I don't know I've been a bit slow getting these out, guys, but I really appreciate those of you who stuck around and watched this. It's been a lot of fun to put together and a lot of fun to play. So thank you very much for being super duper whooping on kids. All right, Granny Weaver, it's time to make you into a beaver hat. I don't know. I couldn't could think of anything. Oh, it could be any house on this road, actually, couldn't it? I just realized. No, it's not. It's the next one down. Hi, everyone. Just milling around aimlessly. Don't mind me. It's fine. By the way, when I was like talking about like, oh, what? there must be a train, I realized there's a tram system. This town has a tram system, and that's probably what it is. All right, time to check out some houses, I guess. Door won't budge. <laughs> Granny, I'm home. Oh my god. Secret door right by me here. have here. Malleus Maleficarum. Every witch has her own sign which represents her contract with the devil. If you find that sign in her lair, you'll be able to make her appear in front of you, whether she wants to or not. You'll need two mirrors, place them opposite each other so both the sign and its reflection can be seen in either. The witch will try and destroy you with her devilry. Great. We have a lovely dagger here. Ah, damn thing just bit me. Okay. Great. Okay. Hey. Well, that went surprisingly well. Alright, so we need to find mirrors and her symbol and all that jazz. 
which I'm guessing is probably... Let's go upstairs first. I don't like the basements. They're always fucking horrible. What happened up here? I swear I saw someone standing there a minute ago. That freaked me out. The atmosphere up here is shit. The door won't budge. So we need mirrors. And the witch's symbol. Oh, lovely. This room looks nice. Happy birthday, Neverline. The voice actress for this, this is so fucking weird. Is for you to keep all the secrets in your heart. Nice lady. As she's hurt puppy is, huh. we will kill her under all circumstances. Grown. Teenager, maybe. Uh, maybe a girl. Hard to tell. A girl? Today our granny finally told us about her life before moving to Oakmont. Me and Evelyn had to put in quite the effort to convince her to talk about it, but it wasn't for nothing. Granny was a real witch. She lived so long and saw so many things that it's just breathtaking. I can't wait to tell our friends about this. They will die of jealousy. Uh, I'm I, fully I think grown. you're more fucked than us. Teenager, maybe. Uh, maybe a girl. Hard to tell. Uh, it's clearly the two people in the fucking notes. Jesus Christ, this isn't this isn't complicated. There's a mirror. Okay, I don't like this room. The door won't budge. I don't like this place, generally. This is like some of the most foreboding atmosphere in the game so far. Which is dope. Needs more shit like that. Alright. Let's head downstairs. Heal up to full. Our sanity is currently full. It won't be for long, I'm sure. Mmm. Shotgun. Wow. This place is really happening. That's what your kids say, right, still? Happening. Not crappening. Alright. Oh, <laughs> this place is shit. Like, super shit. I wonder what this could be. Looks like a shot took it out. Oh, there's the two mirrors. Okay. How the fuck am I gonna repair this shit? Looks like a shot took it out. Ah, oh, there's good art, bad art, and then stuff which makes your skin crawl. Yeah, I've seen fairy porn on DeviantArt too. It's pretty bad. Looks like a shot took it out. So how are we gonna replace the mirrors? Like, we need we need more glass, right? That's like what we have to do here. We need a ton more glass. Well, that went well. Where am I gonna find glass? Hey, any of you here made a glass? Anyone? No? Could really do with a nice glass of glass. Surely not. That would make too much sense. It wouldn't actually make any sense. Alright, so we have to make her appear, but I have no idea how we're going to achieve that. The door won't budge. Like, nothing else is standing out here. I'll do one more lap upstairs in case I miss something, but then I'll jump cut until I figure this fucking shit out. about this room maybe like we need to fix the fucking mirrors like how is how is that gonna happen all right guys I'll be right back when I figure out what the fuck we have to do here nice tits got this Enough here for a trench full of crowds Oh, well, we got this, guys. It's very easy to miss one thing, and then, like, you know. Who dares? Keep shooting! Kill her! Jack and Tain, kill her! Okay. Here we 
go. Okay, so that's one mirror. Rock! This one is heavy! Let's figure out what happened here. So, and um, it's one, two, three, Here we go! Four, maybe? Rock! <laughs> Keep shooting! Kill her! Jack and Tane, kill her! Granny Weaver. They called her up, used two mirrors to do it, then... Oh, no, looks like it got it violent. Things got violent? <sighs> so what am I supposed to do now? Like, seriously? Ah, uh, there's good art, bad art, and then stuff which makes your skin crawl. We already knew we needed two mirrors. Do I, can I go and get mirrors now? Where am I gonna get fucking mirrors from? Now I can take them. Okay, so I had to first look at the evidence in the basement to get that. We are gonna resummon her. Great, wonderful. This seems like a sensible thing to do. And by sensible thing I mean to do, I mean shit. I mean absolute stupid fucking idiot plan. What the fuck are we doing? This is the dumbest shit I've seen in a million fucking years. What the fuck? All right, Granny Weaver. Grenades is probably no other shotgun. <clears throat> Here we go. How's it going, Granny? Gonna shoot you in the fanny. Why is this so quiet? Did I just turn the sound on myself back some? Yeah, I did. Yeah, get fucked. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Get fucked, bitch. Granny Weaver, more like Granny fucking cuck. Am I right, chat? I don't know why I said chat. I'm not streaming this. Time to report back, I guess, that everything's fine. Because she is dead. God, I'm so fucking good at saving the day. It really is. Uh, it really is incredible. Let me just check that's actually done. Casebook. Uh, I found the old hag's lair. She won't threaten Johnny more, and I want safe for her for at least the next 100 years. Lit. So fucking good. You could just shoot some people in celebration. But as I'm a doctor, just remembered that, I forgot, I forgot temporarily that I was a doctor, that's why I killed Granny, but as I'm a doctor, I definitely won't, you know. Oh, this is a fast report I didn't even have, there you go. Anyway, uh, let's go to Joy and tell her the fantastic news and say, you better give me a fucking knowledge point, bitch, because that's the last side quest I've done in the game and I really need to fucking uh, finish it. Shut up! I hear you, fucker. Joy. There she is. Joy, you've no reason to be scared now. It's gone. At least for the next hundred years. Sure? Absolutely. Then Kay, I owe you. Take this gratitude, but keep this a secret. You know, um, your mouth is still stitched? I like it. You're safe now. I figured that it all being over, you could speak freely. Is something still wrong? All is well. Thank you again. I, I'm confused. Why don't you unstitch oh your mouth God. then? Current punishment. Two years left. No matter. Need to serve the sentence. Full. How come? Sewing someone's mouth shut is sick enough, but keeping it when Granny's gone? You're not from Oakmont. Can't understand. Okay. Okay. Just as you say. I guess. Bye. Bye, Joy. You fucking weirdo. 
She definitely fucking likes it. She definitely was totally into that shit. Anyway, back to the main story, and only the main story now. That is every fucking Sly case done. We need to go to the Seven Oaks Bar, which is pretty easy to get to. So let's go and uh, see if we can find our drunk who knows where our symbol may have gone. Mm, that's Salvation Harbor, actually. Where the fuck is Seven Oaks? Oh, hang on, no. The Seven Oaks. Yeah, it's. I thought it was a district, but it's not. It's the bar in Salvation Harbor called the Seven Oaks. I'm not dumb, I promise. Let's look at our knowledge map quickly as well. For skills, sorry. Um, like I've got most of these. I don't care about melee stuff, really. What's this? Falling from height steals half the damage. I don't really care about that. I don't really care about those either. Um, have I got all of these? Gain more experience from other so from all sources, yeah. Fuck it. And remain sane for longer periods. Brilliant. That's that completely maxed out. I guess we'll go for guns now. Uh, yeah. Submachine gun accuracy is all upgraded. I'm running out of skills. I've, I've done good. I've done good. I'm tooled up. I'm the best doctor in town with guns. Hi. Billy Drunnen, I presume. With a jog of you. Oh, it's you! <laughs> I recognize you from the Plague Doctor outfit! Uh, thanks for rescuing I'm me. told I owe you a debt of gratitude for bringing me to the hospital. I was nothing. Good book says to help your neighbor. Wasn't gonna leave a man to Oh my god, help, a nice person? I? In this town? Have you seen my seal? In all the commotion, I seem to have lost something. It's large, round, covered in inscriptions. Any idea what may have happened to it? You think I'm the kind of guy that'd save someone with one hand and pick his pocket with the other? No. Um... If you didn't take it, then who did? Hmm. Tough to say. But I can do you one better. I found you on the calm shore. You were in a bad spot, so I didn't hang around to look for large, round objects. I mean, that's, that's if bad. If you dropped it, maybe it's still there. I'll tell you where to go. It's close. Decent view, too. Well, I suppose it's worth ruling out the possibility. Thanks. Hold up. Is that all? Not gonna buy your savior a round? What a world. Uh, sure, I owe you one. You're right. Next one's on me. Thanks. Just as I was getting thirsty. Let's help his descent into alcohol. Alright, the calm shore. I'm assuming it's not calm. Is that it? No, delete that. Calm sure, it is that. Alright. I just we head just head down the street really. We're going the right way. The fucking weather's weird. Look at this fucking mist shit going on. I guess you can never really tell with a uh, Oakmont. Do I go... I think I go here, then go along. Please don't be in a fucking quarantine zone. I don't want to deal with hordes of hideous monsters chewing on my fucking face all the fucking time. How's it going? You better not have taken my shit off, you. Okay, this place seems fairly ominous. Just in case I get taken. Like, I feel like I'm gonna be attacked by people rather than monsters, but you never know. Oh, well, that was wrong. Oh, you get more experience from these now, you're right. Ah, I thought you are right, but I'm right. Ah, uh, poor guy's face is gone. Eh. It'll be alright. It'll grow back. That's how it works, right? God, this place is a shithole. Another one of these things. Oh, shit. It's what's his face. Come. Comment on that? Okay. Hmm. 
Whoever ripped this apart was in a hurry. At last, at last, I finally have it. Better hurry to the manor before more interlopers show up. So this guy's an asshole as well. Where the fuck did I trust this car? I should have just killed everyone. Scratches? Oh, this must be where I surfaced. Scratches? But we know where he's gone! Oh, this must be where I surfaced. Anything else around here other than just bollocks? Just on, I guess a nice trip to the beach. Never know drew the same sigil in the Orion Club to summon monsters. Ah, well, we've got a ball now. And the music got a shit ton more ominous. Alright. So, saving the drowned is the only way you can make friends, Blackwood? Did you really think the Yellow Kings wouldn't catch you? Okay, so he was ambushed on the, on the, on the beach. When the Chosen visit you, they never seem to come back. So we'll be taking this one. Finish him, Carl. Okay. Fools! You don't know what you're doing! Put him down! Time to figure this out. I think it's fairly straightforward, this seems. One, so, saving the drowned is the only way two. you can make... When the Chosen visit you, they never like seem to come them, back. By the way. So we'll... Fools! You don't know what you're doing! Put him down! Blackwood dragged me to the surface, but was ambushed by Dronin. Both seem to think I'm among the Chosen. And now Blackwood has the seal. Alright. So we need to find out where Blackwood's manor is? Okay. The question is, where the fuck do I go now? Do I, I guess I need to go to the town hall to find out the address of the black, you know, his, his mansion or whatever. So that seems like a, a a fairly good call on my part, I believe. But everything got shit, didn't it? Like shitter, anyway. I say, I say shit. Everything here is shit. This place is like a top tier shithole. I probably already made that joke in that playthrough, but I can't help it. It's just. This is like one of the nastiest locations for a horror game. And I kind of like that. It differentiates itself, you know what I mean? Alright, so where the fuck are we going to now? Uh, town Hall? To find out? Uh, I'll take a gamble and go that. If it's wrong, I can always do a trustworthy jump cut to save me. I'm glad I did all the side quests, though. I feel like complete as a result, you know? And I showed the most interesting ones uh, here as well, the, the more shitty ones I did on the stream. Uh, subjects, alright, so... Citizens, period. After the flood. Mm. Oh, Dronin, mate, for fuck's sake! Dronin, you cunt! Wasting my fucking time! This is what I get for not reading my fucking notes properly, for fuck's sake. At least it's very easy to get back to the bar. God damn it. What? If the weather is getting shitter, it is escalating, okay? Like, we. It, 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 it's got. It's like foggy, and now it's like someone smeared shit all over the place. I'm gonna shoot Dronin, by the way, if he doesn't fucking. I shouldn't have given him fucking thing as well. I say nice people here, they turn out to be cunts as well. Everyone's a fucking cunt. Where's the pub gone? Here it is. This fog is fucking AIDS. Alright, Dronin. Tell me you're fucking. Of course. Of course he's What's fucking gone. Of course he's fucking gone. Where is he? Where the fuck is he? I'm gonna fucking kill him. God damn it! He's fucked off. To fucking. Where's Dronin? Where did Billy Dronin go? I thought you said he was here. Ah, you did, you son didn't. of a... He was just there a moment ago, scribbling something. I guess his tab just got even bigger. Anything else? I'm looking for Blackwood Manor. Hey, local. Can you remind me where to find the Blackwoods Manor? The manor? 
Eh, what you want with it? It's been empty ever since the Blackwoods left. You planning a heist? Uh... Who's to say? If there's anything they wanted, the Blackwoods had a chance to take it with them. Heh. <laughs> Well, the manor's easy Oh, I, I've find. been there already. I, I've Part been, like, alongside it. Grimhaven Bay. Good luck. Many have tried, but none have yet succeeded. I won't keep you. So kind of you, newcomer. Oh, fuck off. I was fucking nice to you, dickhead. Alright, I know where this is, and it's really close to a fast travel point, too. This fucking weather is creeping me out. Like, the fog is definitely worse. I don't like it. Alright, where's Grimhaven Bay? There's the manor in the most ominous sort of cliffside thing. It reminds me of the manor in the Shitter game, Call of Cthulhu. Call of Cthulhu, the remake, is so bad compared to this. Like, this is just, this is just really good. This is so infinitely superior. It's hard to put into words, actually, how superior it is. I thought that was just a really, is that a statue or a man? I can't tell. This is definitely the Blackwood Manor, at least, so let's head up here. Hello? Nomkins? Hello? Mr. Blackwood, I'm here. I'm a Nomkin. Shoot it in the sack! Summoning. Blackwood needs to summon monsters. Sounds like a fucking loser to me. Ha! Oh, great. <sighs> Poor bastard didn't get far. Hang on. Oh, God. I was like, I thought he was being attacked by that for a minute, but. Another one? This is not going very well. Was that drum in there? I think it probably was, right? I was shitting on Drunnen, but I mean, realistically, he didn't have to fucking help me, I suppose, you know what I mean? Secret entrance, right here. Yeah. Hello? I'm home. Are we friends? The door won't budge. Hey. Army of the cunts. There's another one. Maybe not. Oh, we've got to follow that first, but first of all, let's move this and blow on bullets. Okay, that's going to remedy my bullet situation quite easily. Did you see that glitch out? That scared, that scared the fucking shit out of me, I'm not gonna lie. Well, do I have to do something with this or what? Where did we go? Where did the man go? Oh no, we're going deeper. Come on. 
There we go. No, 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 no. What the fuck again. is happening? Of course the Blackwoods would have a space for rituals. Candidate Linda Brennan, failure. Extraction of Dream of Siege was successful, but my sigils couldn't contain it. Judy Ennis, Gordon Smith, Harriet Doe, and yet I was too late, and yet she's not the last remaining seed like I first thought. There is another. So we're the last remaining seed, and they're trying to do experiments I'm on the seeds. Too. Great, of course. Uh, let's not go insane, please. Oh, great. This one seems more recent. Yeah, it's where they buried the dead bodies of all the people that they blew into the black mansion. Oh, you blasted thing! This way, Gordon. The cure for your illness awaits. So many attempts, so few chosen left. I must keep looking. Okay. So he's trying Let's to do some fucked up ritual. This way, Gordon. Oh, you blasted thing! And it went wrong again, and so it's gone wrong a lot. Attempts, it's gone wrong a shitload of so fucking times. You chosen left. I must keep looking. Eberno conducted a ritual on someone, but the man died in the process. He buried him and set out to find something he called a stronger focus. Dragon's Eye. I've seen this before. I thought it was Dagon. Guess we'll follow the birdies for now. So is he responsible for all the monsters coming, do you think, or is he just promising them? It's very hard to say, right? He'll be upstairs. Tugging himself off, probably. Yeah, he's upstairs. I'm pretty sure that's in the room, though. Oh, hi. going insane, I think it is. Alright, cunts. Oh, like a super Super Saiyan? Pull back? You get fucked. Definitely going the right way. What the fuck is this shit? Item. The vultures have grown bold. They went after me in my own home. The defenses I have in place is strong for sure, but the numbers are on their side. And they won't stand down. The Yellow King's gang never does. I know you're looking for me, Mr. Reed. The truth about you was revealed to me the moment I saw you. But now the Yellow King's men have confirmed it. I cannot risk telling you too much, as this book may yet fall into the wrong hands. So I have faith a detective of you, Caliber, should figure it out. I will now make haste to my place of pilgrimage. The seal of Kilfganar is with me. Okay. So we need to find his place of pilgrimage. Wonderful. Wide open sea. Huh. I too was drawn to it once. So he said he maybe he isn't like super duper evil. I think he's trying to do what he thinks is best. It's hard to fucking tell. The guy who's hired us is shady as fuck. Because I think he's literally Satan. Like literally. They got you know they got the Mr. Vanderberg and that's his gang, isn't it? That we're like dealing with as well here. Very interesting. Regardless, they don't have all the evidence. The question is, what evidence is missing? You know what I mean? Let's look at my, my uh, mind palace anyway. I was woken by a nightmare. Place of pilgrimage. Okay, Evernight's ritual. Evernight's rituals were lethal. That is true. 
Like that is a... Ritual's been improved. Evernote was convinced his ritual needed seal of the cloth. Well, he has it now, okay. The ritual could save me. Let's go for that. Mm. Okay. So there's still something here that I'm missing. Fuck knows what it is, though. Wide open sea. I feel like that's important. I too was drawn to it once. Alright, so we need to find out where the fuck... Oh, this is open now. Dear Onia, I've been looking for the matter with all due diligence, and I'm sorry, but you were too hasty in your conclusions. Evernote is a bright young man with an uncanny talent for the occult, but nothing indicates he's been chosen. He does not carry the dreamer's seed. Do not judge him too harshly, however tempted you might be. He has lived his entire life preparing for his destiny. When he learns he is not chosen, he will need guidance. I advise you to send him to the Order. I see the makings of a preacher in him. Regards, Portia Marsh. Dearest relatives, ever since my son Evernote turned out to be a false messiah, we've known this day would come. And now the end of the cycle is drawing near, we must delay no further longer. But let's meet as a family cannery and make her escape from the city. Do not draw the attention of the authorities and allow no outsider to follow you. Celebrate our last days in this rigid city and come under the sea. Leave all your possessions behind. Once we reach our masters in the depths, we'll have sustenance beyond need. Okay, well, we've got another mine palace clue here. <laughs> Evernote Blackwood has fled, but I think it's where he went. He previously made pilgrimage to the site of his family's exodus, the Blackwood Cannery. Okay. That's good. I don't think any of these cross over. No. Alright. Finding the cannery is our next objective. The door won't budge. What? How did I get in here again? Oh, I went in the back, didn't I? Whoopsie daisy. I forgot. Anyway. Alright guys, I think this is probably a good place as any to end this video. It's going to be coming up to an hour. I hope you enjoyed this instalment of the Sinking City. Uh, next time, we'll be going after Evernote Blackwood at his cannery, I guess. And we will be nothing but main story from here on in until we're done. Thank you for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed. I'd like to thank Alice for being our producer and for making these videos possible. I'd like to thank everyone who supports on Patreon. It allows us to keep doing this for a living. If you enjoy the content here, even if it's just a dollar, consider pledging because it allows us to do a lot more stuff and keep this channel looking nice and normal. Anyway, thanks for being the best. Thanks for being awesome, guys. And I'll see you soon with more of the Sinking City. Goodbye. Have a great fucking day. Stop fighting!